Hey guys, we're 91, and I'm talking about Xbox Game Pass. Why? Because it has surpassed 10 million members. Now, the fact that Game Pass was so successful and Stadia isn't, at least not yet, kind of shows that it's not what you have, sometimes it's how you do it. Like Stadia, sure, they stream games. Like Stadia, yes, they're a digital library, basically, there's nothing physical, but they charge you also for, for most of the games, and they charge you monthly. Game Pass doesn't do that, obviously. Game Pass just charges you monthly, and then all the games on it are available for you. And that's what I was saying, if you guys recall from, I think I've said this in my, like, my YouTube videos maybe years ago, that if the games went this route, they would have to be like Netflix for gaming. And what do I mean by that? Well, you just pay monthly, and then everything on it is available. And that's what Game Pass does, and it's proven that it can be successful. People have no problem paying $10 a month for a library of games that... They can just play whenever they feel like, as long as they keep up their subscription. And it also shows an example for those wanting to try the either game streaming or just games as a subscription service. You gotta go the Netflix route, I believe, for it really to be successful. Because charging people monthly and then charging them for most of the games as well, that's not the way to go. People don't want to pay monthly and then pay for games. It just doesn't make that much sense. I think that if Google Stadia were to change its format where they simply charge you monthly. Like, let's just say they charge you 20 bucks a month. That's double the amount that Game Pass charges. And all the games on it are available, and they obviously have games coming in and out, I believe, kind of like probably like how Netflix is right now. Then I believe Google Stadia could still be successful. But we're talking about Xbox Game Pass now, and it's just kudos to Microsoft. They really hit the nail on the head when it comes to Xbox Game Pass. Anyway, what do you guys think about Xbox Game Pass surpassing 10 million subscribers? And... And do you think games and subscription is really the future? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe, and God bless you all.